now the topic before us is what a computer virus can do all of you know that the cyber criminals are always busy in developing new variants of computer viruses their main purpose behind the creation of computer viruses is to earn money sometimes they are developing computer virus just to take revenge or for the purpose of when data from a particular individual or an organization it is also quite possible that a cyber criminal may develop a computer virus for the purpose of fun or for the purpose of gaining recognition in the world of cyber criminals whatever the purpose may be the computer viruses can cause a lot of damage to the individuals as well as the organizations the most of the computer viruses do not cause much harm but many of the computer viruses have caused billions of dollars of economic loss to the individuals as well as the organizations if we go through our history of virus outbreaks these computer viruses can not only cause disruption of the computer system they can destroy the data or the important information which may be contained there in the computers they can also steal the valuable or confidential or secret information which may be stored in our computer system or sometimes these computer viruses can steal our online browsing habits and the, they can pass this information of online browsing habits information to the cyber attacker which may use it for malicious purposes such as identity theft or other malicious activities we will discuss all of this in brief computer viruses can perform a variety of harmful actions depending on their programming and the intentions of their creators it means that the cyber criminal has something in mind that is when it creates a virus or thinks to create a virus it has a aim in its mind whether it wants to earn money or to destroy or a, a particular organization by attacking its computer systems so it depends on the intentions of the creator of the viruses what he wants that what he wants that a particular type of computer virus which he is developing should do in when the computer virus attacks the computer systems computer virus can do its destructive activity so quickly that the user is not even aware of the presence of a virus in his or her computer it means that the person who is using the computer will may not be aware of the presence of the computer virus in a system but the computer virus will act so swiftly or so quickly that it will damage the computer system properly or delete the in entire files or data which are present there on the computer system computer system or computer virus can do following things or can cause following damages computer virus can erase everything on your hard disk or it can modify or delete files 
लीडिंग टू लॉस ऑफ इंपोर्टेंट फाइल्स एंड डॉक्यूमेंट ए कंप्यूटर वायरस कैन इवन डू अनवॉन्टेड एक्टिविटी ओवर यूर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन दैट इज प्लेइंग म्यूजिक इन दी बैकग्राउंड और मेकिंग इट्स प्रेजेंस फेल्ट बाय शोइंग ए पिक्चर और एनिमेटेड पिक्चर और वीडियो मैसेज कंप्यूटर वायरस मे आल्सो यूज योर ईमेल प्रोग्राम टू स्प्रेड इट सेल्फ टू अदर कंप्यूटर इट मींस दैट इफ ए कंप्यूटर वायरस हैज हिट टू योर सिस्टम इट मे बी सो प्रोग्राम्ड दैट इट विल यूज योर ईमेल सिस्टम सपोज यू आर यूजिंग जी इट विल यूज योर जी एंड इट विल सेंड इट सेल्फ by the way of email to your contact list and when the person on your contact list receives your email he will open it and the virus will be hidden in the email attachment and when he will open the email attachment the virus will hit the computer system of your friend or relative whom the email was sent by the computer virus and this email was not in your in your knowledge that is you were not aware that the computer virus has sent the email to your known person and computer virus has done this on its own next is computer virus may take space on hard disk further computer system unable to start up that is it means that it is may be possible that when the computer virus has hit your computer the compute your computer may not be able to start up it is also quite possible that the performance of your computer system may slow down or there may be frequent crashes on your of your computer system and there are frequent freezes of your computer system that is when you are giving a command the computer is not accepting your command but it takes very long time to accept your command it is also quite possible that the computer virus may use your computer system for illegal activities in such a case what happens that suppose there is a the cyber criminal and it creates botnets botnets means the infected computers it creates botnets which are also known as zombies and all these systems which are far, lying far away the, these are used as botnets that is the infected computers are used to launch the dds attack on a server so that this server is overloaded with such type of requests and the genuine user is unable to approach the server and the server crashes now what is written we will read using infected system for illegal activities such as ddos attacks or to send spam emails spam emails refer to unwanted messages which are generally sent in bulk to a large number of recipients these messages are usually commercial in nature promoting products services or fraudulent schemes spam emails are often considered as a form of electronic junk mail now what other thing the computer virus can do it can record key strokes it means that what keys are you are punching on your keypad of the computer and when you are punching the key strokes each and every information of key stroke will be passed on to the hack hacker and the computer virus will also steal your personal information window pcs are the most popular target of the computer viruses because they are most widely used computer systems but as the 
पॉपुलैरिटी ऑफ मैक कंप्यूटर ग्रो मैक मालवेयर आर आल्सो डिवेल्प बाय साइबर क्रिमिनल्स माई डूम टेक्निकली ए बोम कास्ट एन एस्टिमेटेड डैमेज टू दी ट्यून ऑफ थर्टी एट बिलियन डॉलर कंप्यूटर वायरसेज कॉस्ट एन एस्टिमेटेड फिफ्टी फाइव बिलियन डॉलर ईच एयर इन क्लीन अप एंड रिपेयर कॉस्ट डेट इज फ्रॉम दिस फिगर यू कैन इमेजिन द एक्सटेंट ऑफ डैमेज विच द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और द इंडिविजुअल्स हैव टू इनकर Towards cleaning the viruses or repairing their, repairing the cause of their computer systems. These actions of the computer viruses are general examples, and the specific behavior of the computer virus can vary widely depending on the design and the objectives of the attacker. It means that we have discussed in general. what a computer virus can do but the particular activity of a computer virus will depend on the ultimate objectives of the cyber criminals for which the particular variant of this computer virus had been developed now we will like to conclude this course there are some common indicators of computer viruses which will suggest that our computer has been infected by virus these indicators may include that our computer system is giving slow performance or our computer system is frequently crashing or uh, there is high cpu usage or the files are missing on our computer system or new files are appearing or some modified files are appearing on our computer system and our security software has been disabled while we have not done it there are some common types of computer viruses such as direct action virus boot sector virus macro virus polymorphic virus resident virus overwrite virus space filler virus computer viruses are just one kind of harmful malicious software that can cause problems there are other kinds of malicious softwares other than the computer viruses such as trojan horses bombs ransomware spyware adware that have their own unique features and they have their own ways of operating a computer virus can perform many malicious acts such as causing disruption to our computer system deleting or modifying files slowing down the computer system frequently crashing of our computer system or frequent freezes of our computer system taking space on our hard disk recording key strokes and stealing personal information so in view of the damage being caused by the computer viruses it is very important for us to use reputed anti virus and anti malware software and keep our operating system updated and we should scan usb drive before using them and we should be cautious when we are opening email attachments or links received from unknown persons and we should regularly backup our data so that in the event of unforeseen damage caused by computer virus or physical damage to our computer system we can the extent of damage is limited we should also practice safe browsing habits so that we can protect our computer system from viruses thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course